Welcome back to Chow Time Pod. It's your host, Rick. Here's today from Alpha Central. Woman thinks she's the main character and then gets put in her place. <laughs> Please like, subscribe down below. I really appreciate it. Let's get that chow. Chow Time. Yo, what's up? Welcome back to Alpha Central. I'm your host, Jack, and today we're taking a look at attention-seeking women getting humbled. But let's jump right in, right after you subscribe, of course. Disclaimer, this video was made for strictly comedic slash artistic purposes. No offense is intended towards any individual featured in this video. Why do men not understand hints? Because not even <laughs> Sherlock can understand your hints. All right, a night alone with me or courtside tickets to the NBA finals. Fuck yeah. Courtside tickets, baby. I don't even care for basketball, and I would love to go to an NBA final. Why not? You get to meet such cool people. There's so many, like, high-profile people that go to these things. Why not? Why not me? I'm married. You're married? Yeah, I'm married. I your wife or the I tickets? Love, I love my wife. My wife or the tickets? My wife, for sure. Love to see it. Guy respects my his man. wife above all else. <laughs> you like Mexican, so... Nah, nah, you, nah, you, you gonna get my boy in trouble. Come on, come on, come on. Nah, you gonna get my boy in trouble. You want you, you really wanna make out? You can if you want to. You about it? Baby, I know how to do everything. You know how to kiss? Let's go. Gotcha. Like that. Thirsty ass women. <laughs> I knew it was coming. He got her with that one. Did she really think he'd make out with a stranger like that? If so, she really needs to look at herself as a person. I just need to know from a men's perspective, are y'all waiting on girls to talk to you first? Like, are you waiting on a girl to ask you on a date first? Because that's crazy to me. Like, when you're out in public and you're making right, eyes right. with a girl and you're, like, making it known that you're attracted to her, but you're not going to say something, how are you not going to say something? Where are the huevos? Where are the huevos these days? I feel like there's so many, like, times that guys want to say something to girls and they don't. Like, is there a guy watching this that can give us some insight like why don't you just do it why don't you just do it are you scared no we're not scared we just don't want you guys to call us creeps and put us on blast in front of everyone and tell the truth you probably aren't worth the squeeze are you waiting for her to say something first i'm here to tell you right now we don't. we don't care. Let me tell you. Right, let me tell you <laughs> we don't care. Jerry We're in public for everything but you, and that's the sad truth. Hey, I like it when it's just me and you. I like when it's me and daddy. Oh, really? Yeah. There we go. Don't get too mad at the kid. After all, he's just being honest. What is it? Are you going to put it in there? Oh, for sure. I was looking at you confused. Mmm. Nah, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> Shut up. My man. <laughs> oh, he for sure put the wrong number in her phone. Scientists have now discovered a way for women to impregnate themselves using their own bone marrow. I'm not sure who needs to hear this, but. No, they didn't. <laughs> and if they did, the future kids they would have would be looking like little gremlins. Biggest Three, surprise face two, ever! No, one. wait! <gasps> Woo! Woo! I oh! A bit of an overreaction, but I can answer your question. Oh! Because the countdown ended. I hope that helps. <laughs> As a formerly pregnant person, I really don't like that bad behavior without apology just kind of gets swept under the rug because hormones. Yeah. If I'm allowed to use my hormones as an excuse for bad behavior, what then is stopping men from using their hormones to say, <laughs> Your wife with something out of anger. After all, while a woman's hormone cycle is every 28 days, a man's is every 24 hours. We know that men's testosterone spikes every morning and every evening, so if he gets a little rude and sassy with you during those times, it's okay, it's just a silly, goofy time because it's mm -hmm. hormones. No, that wasn't a gender reveal, it was a character reveal. You were so angry that this dumb confetti cannon went off one millisecond before yours did that you didn't even acknowledge the gender of the baby, which is the whole reason you're there. Correct. He chose the wrong woman to have a baby with. Yeah, she's for the streets, but in this case, for the sea. Okay, what's your name? I'm Cyan. Cyan? Cyan. Like Super Cyan? No, yeah, Cyan. No, like like Cyan, Cyan, but like Cyan. Oh. It's rare. Okay, okay. What's, what's your name? Snapba. <laughs> 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 
Yeah, I guess that's a good thing. Who are y'all? Like, like Kodak Black? No, I saw if y'all know Kodak, y'all know that song. Yeah, yeah like, I'm like, a top tier said... bad. <laughs> so, who's like a crush that you would be like, oh my God, I would love to have with that person? Myself. Yeah, myself. That part. There's a lot of delusional women in this video. Where are their fathers? Can you hear I'm homeless? Okay. How did we know that? One of my boyfriend's players, he's in the other room, but I can't believe I was wasting my money on rent all this time. Life hack, if you're hot, do not ever pay rent. I'm genuinely almost okay. afraid to see where this is going. You can literally just go on Hinge and stay at different guys' places for free every single night. And no. No, that's a terrible idea. That sounds like a recipe for possible disaster. I mean, that's how you women get kidnapped, raped, and murdered. What the fuck? What could go wrong besides everything? And nothing bad has happened to me yet. The key word there is yet. I'll let you know how long I can keep going with this until I'm sleeping in my car. I'm genuinely hoping that this is all just a joke. I because they seriously joined me do. last a few nights and then they break up with me because I realize I'm using them. But so far, so good. So far, so good. Yeah, right. I'll One of these men are going to snap on you, and uh, we're going to see some murder she wrote. <laughs> Say it again. I really hope that this is a joke and that they're not serious, because giving this type of advice is inviting disaster. As if there already wasn't enough reason for most people just not to want to date at all. Now they have to be aware of people that could possibly just be using them for a place to stay. Ah, what a world. We've gotten to a point where social media is full of shady tips on how to screw people over. The worst part, this girl actually thinks she's smart and not just straight up mean. Stop. I want... That's why you don't start shit. You can't handle it. He humbled her real quick with that one. You guys wouldn't do this, but like hypothetically, how many guys do you think you could get with in a day if you wanted to? Million. Infinity. Yeah. Infinity. If I want every single one of these guys, I could have them. Well, I'll be the judge of that. Anybody. 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 So if I'm a, if a guy came over here, you asked him, you 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 think he would say yes? Yes. yes. There's no doubt. hundred percent. No doubt. These women are so delicious. Not tested. Uh, yeah, why not? Things just got a little more interesting. They were saying, would you would you hook up with any two of them if you weren't married? If I wasn't married? Yeah. Hell no. That's my dog. My man. That's my dog! Damn, why not? Because I'm going to marry her in the future. Boring. <laughs> okay, how about you? Would you sleep with us? I personally, no. I wouldn't. Why? Not really my type. I'm just being honest. Yo, my man. Real quick, do you have a girlfriend? I'm single. All right. Oh, they ran. <laughs> they ran. And they now stand corrected. They need to lower their ego a little bit. No. The chubby one ran, scurried off real quick. You're 13 years single? Goddamn. I'm sorry. <laughs> Do you think 13 years, maybe, like, maybe you're the problem? Or... <laughs> is there anything? Maybe... I'm just saying, 13 years is a long time. No, no, no. It's a, I'm, not, I'm not saying Lisa's the problem. I'm just asking. I'm just asking a question. I'm just asking a question. How, where'd you guys meet? Well, we, we're not together, but we're friends. No, that's awkward. <laughs> He's single, though. He's single? There's a girl I know. <laughs> dog, she hasn't had in 13 years. <laughs> you could be a hero, dog. <laughs> where, where would you take uh, Lisa on a first date? <laughs> would you uh, accept the invitation to a fancy restaurant from Oscar? What you mean, maybe? <laughs> oh, you got options tonight? <laughs> we got three more minutes left of this show. You better take this. Oh, oh I God. love comedians. It's available right now. Okay. Going once, going twice. <laughs> so <laughs> that's what I like. There you go, man. Yeah. Dude. How old is Oscar? Twenty-nine. Yeah, that's a good. That's a good age. It's a good age. It's a. I know. It doesn't matter. His works. <laughs> that's all you need. 29 is just good New York. <laughs> I don't know. 13 years is a long time after all. Maybe she just needs to get a better wingman or something. and may Or lose some weight. Maybe, just maybe, those standards are just too high. If we can have your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Uh, my name's Eric mm. and I am 38. Mm -hmm. And the reason I popped it is I don't like heavy eyelashes. Mm -hmm. And there's something <laughs> going on with 
I feel like the left one is just so heavy. It's way, it's hard for you to keep your eyes open or something. Oh, okay. There's something, yeah. So okay, I, yeah, there's something going on. So, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then um, yeah, that's that was the, the the first thing that caught my eye. Okay. So I'm sorry. Oh, absolutely. That's your that's your thing. It's just a preference, you know. For sure. So. She could have had the love of her life if it wasn't for those eyelashes. Super marriage tip. If your wife asks you if the outfit she's wearing makes her look fat, just tell her if she ran at the gym like she ran her mouth at home, she wouldn't have to ask that question. <laughs> <laughs> that look of shock on her face says it all. What's up? What? You know, that's the fun part about marriage. If you can joke around and have fun, you know, with these things, you know you have a pretty solid marriage. Nothing. Wow, you talk quiet. I was talking to my mom. Hey, mommy. She's gone. Oh, well, now that she's gone, is there any way you want to be my boo for, you know, this Halloween season? Your boo? Yeah. I don't know what you celebrate Halloween like that, though. Oh, yeah, no, me neither. I was just thinking, like, the vibes, you know? I don't celebrate it. I honestly just want to be ghosted, so... You want to be ghosted? Yeah. Okay, you want to swap, like, snaps or something? Yeah. I mean, you're still mumbling, but I'm down. <laughs> honestly, can kind of go, well, nice pairing with the ghosting, you know? We'll see about that. It's too quiet anyways, but yeah. Love you. She needs to leave Andrew Garfield alone. He's probably still getting over Gwen Stacy. I am so tired of just having to walk around on my campus and get preached at about the Bible. Like, go somewhere else. I don't want to go away. I want this to go away. Guess what I believe? I believe that I am God. I am God. I am my own God. What does that mean, you're God? It means that I create my own reality and I manifest what I want to see in this world. Go create your own reality somewhere else we're trying to have a discussion yeah i am creating my own reality right here i'm saying your discussion is so, stupid and it shouldn't go on it's pointless we, we and disagree it's with each other so we're respecting and disagreeing but there's a difference between what you're doing and what we're doing what you're doing is you're, you're disrespecting both of us just talking over us you literally yeah. said you're god and yeah. what we're trying to do is have an intelligent discussion. We disagree, fundamentally. You're having but an intelligent we discussion we... by misquoting people no. and spreading misinformation. It's annoying, and I'm making a mockery of you because that's what it deserves I'm to be I'm sorry made we're of annoying you. you. Hey, even if I disagree with this man, I respect him. I'm glad he comes here. I don't and... want him coming in here anymore. I want him to be <laughs> It's all about showing respect. If you can't do that, then you should probably stay at home. Hold on, what did I hear? I heard this finna be easy, you ready? Right. Right. Pass, 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 pass. You look, oh. you look like Polo G, so I'm gonna say smash. Oh. Pass, 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 pass. Here you go. Damn, okay, okay, all right. That was pretty fast. Like, they act like they don't... This is how women see things like i said they only see what's in front of them you know fucking i just did the freaking john cena thing didn't i yeah you can't see me that's all they can see is right in front of them they don't realize what they're saying and what they're doing their actions currently at that moment how it's going to translate moments later a few moments later i'm gonna pass i throw doms in basketball so i'm gonna pass so, Kanye 3CC on me. She looking, hello, wait, huh, pass. All right. <laughs> Hell nah, you pass me. Get the hell out of here. I can't do nothing with her. No oh, count. You can do some, though. You can do some. Okay. Bro, I can't do nothing with her. I'm a pass. I don't know. It's, I can't get the throat. I don't want it. You didn't even look at me. Why am I looking at you? <laughs> you are a pass. Okay. <laughs> pass. <laughs> pass. You couldn't even. I mean, I ain't gonna lie. Here, I'm gonna have to. I'm not even in the video, but I still felt the disrespect. Pass. Anybody else's boyfriend makes three racks of ribs on a Monday after he works and churro cheesecake cookies. Can I have a cookie? No. Rachel is the first one that has to get one because she wanted them. But she's in bed. Rachel's our six year old daughter. Yeah, and I made those cookies because she wanted me to, and I wanted her to feel special, so she gets to have the first one, so she feels special. Really? Yeah. have one. That makes sense. 
like your your husband just explained to you what he's trying to do for the daughter to make her feel special. And you're gonna do this? What a fucking whore. That's very nice. Their daughter is gonna be super mad when she sees this video. And most of you, man, you guys have to learn something. If you ain't sleeping or dating or messing with a woman, don't even look at her stories. Don't even like her photos. The second I see provocative photos that a girl is posting, unfollow, because I don't need that. I'm not thirsty and I don't give out free validation. Damn My right. attention is very scarce. And if you want it, we either have to be dating or has to be happening. And you beta males need to have that same mindset. Agreed. And all these women wouldn't have inflated egos because all you guys message them 24 seven on Instagram and comment that you would drink their bath water and all this other sim that I just, oh my God, I don't get it. The worst thing you can do is waste your time on social media, scrolling, liking her posts, and spamming her DMs. Just stop, man. Be smarter than that. I can't talk to you. No, go away. Hey, what's up? Suck my Let me talk to you. The bipolarness that's going on right now. No way. Let me talk to you. Let me talk to you. <laughs> it's like two different people that I fucking... I wouldn't want to talk That's to her if she's acting like that. I'm just a hot girl standing in front of a poorly dressed, objectively unattractive guy telling him it's fine if he doesn't want a relationship. But could he maybe text me more consistently? He said no. <laughs> oh my days. She needed Fam, that ego stroke. It's okay if you don't want to be my man, but can we up the communication yeah. a little bit? I don't like being aired for four hours. He no. said, nah. Nah. I'm, nah. I'm, nah, that sounds like hassle. Yeah, just no. I'm not on it. This man is what we all want to be on the inside. <laughs> this mom is just not setting a good example for her kids. And guess what? Those kids are probably going to go back to school and have their friends seeing their mom on their For You page. That looks like the kid with the sister with the OnlyFans. In Jesus Christ, he's my Lord and Savior. I have no problem proclaiming that. So why do you have a link to your exclusive content? What are you having Bible studies on there? <laughs> and under a Bible verse, now that's wild. Here, I've got a verse for you. First Timothy 2, 9. I also want the women to dress modestly with decency and propriety. Dang, that's tough. Doesn't sound really Jesus-like. Before the show, there was a negotiation here that you not wear your sunglasses. There was no such thing. Liars. Okay, okay that's cool. So look, you've been kind of trolling this whole time. I'm not gonna make a big thing of it, but like you just keep trolling. You've now put on your sunglasses. We asked you very politely before the show it not to. Polite. Don't make a scene. Just leave. I don't really want to see you here for that long. Okay, that's fine. Just Nick, we need a little video. I just gotta record you down now. No, no, no. It's okay, well it doesn't matter, you can't Don't. me, so please just stop. Yeah. Keep your hands off of Hey! Keep your hands off of him. What are you doing? Leave! What are you doing? Trying to punch him? The attitude in this video is insane. If she didn't want to be there, she should have never came. I'm just telling you, man, women just have no clue of violence. This is why I do my series of videos of women getting destroyed by men. Because too many women are like this. Going out there, slapping, socking, punching, doing all these things to men. And you are so lucky out there, women, that most men are good men that can control their emotions. Or else, you'd be fucking laid out. Yeah, and there is. <laughs> oh wait, don't go nowhere, you Powerpuff girl. Stand right here so I can roast you after that. Come on. Over here, you walking UTI. Sit the back down, you scrapped Austin Powers villain. Your bob cut is a Robert. Go into the bathroom and wipe the lipstick off your teeth. Go! I'm tired of looking at it. Go! Stir your drink all you want to, Edna from The Incredibles. Go! You just love being ashamed. I'm sorry your father didn't love you, but that's not my fault. These people paid for his show. And just because he didn't touch you as much as you wanted doesn't mean you gotta touch them the way he didn't. Go, Pete, and find someone funnier. You still just gonna stand there? I just smacked you down like 12 times. <laughs> you are like, I wish the World Trade Center was built out of your guilt. I've never fallen. I stood tall after two planes hit it. 
That's how you know she's been molested. She can take it. <laughs> I just got a 30 minute light, baby. I got 30 more to go. I can do this for 30 minutes or you can go. I'll see you later. I'll see you at the methadone clinic. <laughs> Walking UTI is just an insane insult. I'm gonna need to use that one now. <laughs> I'm Aaron. And I'm Jake. And we are ex-friends. In what ways was I a bad friend to you? Lack of communication. <laughs> we were going on a trip and I didn't hear from you, so I canceled that trip without consulting Can we talk you. about the trip, please? We're best friends and she wants to go to Vegas with just me and her. Okay, so oh I spent... God. 1,100 plus dollars on these goddamn tickets. No, I didn't I, tell her to buy the ticket. It was... Aaron, I didn't ask you to do all that. Um. She wanted more than friendship. He didn't. She clearly couldn't respect that. You guys have made it to the end of the video. See, guys, women are simps, too. They're willing to spend money. They're willing to do things for you if they like you. That's the problem. A lot of these women don't like you. They don't genuinely like you. That's why you should just leave them in the streets. Who gives a fuck if they don't like you? Go find someone that does. That's the whole point, right? Please accept them below. Really appreciate that. Because